Hey guys, Stony Godly here with SGC Couture Fashions, and I am here for us to do a mock up together of this pattern right here, V1714. Let's do the mock up, and then hopefully we will get to the actual garment. So let's go step by step together. Let's get started right now. So, with our mock-up, we're not going to be doing any interfacing. We're not going to put the zipper in or anything. All we want to know is if the bodice that we cut based upon our measurements is going to fit us the way that we want it to fit us in the sleeves. So that's primarily what we're going to do. I've already cut out my pieces and I have ironed them flat. And for me, I'm doing view B, so I need every single piece on the list. You go ahead and cut out your pieces of your pattern, iron it flat, and we'll move to the next step. Okay, if you haven't, you should have, you should take your measurements and based on your measurements, the measurement chart right here, this is what you should be going by. By your bust and your waist measurement should determine which, what, which side you choose, okay? I am choosing a size 22 and maybe a size 20 in the waist. Yeah. So let's move to the next step. Next up is our fabric layout and the important information that we need, such as how much seam allowance should we be sewn by. You should see up here in this section right here, 5 eighths of a seam allowance. Down here, you should see which way to turn the pattern, whether to have it with the fabric facing up, facing down. Uh, it'll also tell you about pieces that uh, where you would put the <laughs> pattern on the wrong side, fabric on the right side, and so forth. Then it will tell you right here um, whether it's single layer, on the fold, so forth and so on. And you just go ahead and read down through this information right here and we will move to the next step okay you remember I said that we're not going to be doing um, interfacing we're not going to cut the lining we just want to see based upon the size that we chose from our size chart and by our measurements um, how well the jacket will fit before actually making that out of the fashion fabric however here is your fabric layout, even for your muslin, okay? The fabric did you choose to make the mock-up of? So I'm using 60 width fabric, so I would use one of these layouts right here. If you're using 45 width muslin, then you would use the layout for the 45 inch, okay? So I'm about to lay out my fabric now, and hopefully you're going to do the same. See you in a moment. Okay, I got some of my pieces laid out and pinned down, as you can see. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut them out, cut everything out, and we're going to keep moving. You do the same thing, okay? Okay, we're about to get started, but there's some sewing information right up here that you need to know, such as what seam allowance we're going to be doing, um let me see press as you sew uh the glossary information down here tells you about some fabrics and how you should deal with them we're not going to interface anything and now we're about to begin so i hope that you've laid your pieces out in chronological order one through 11 i do believe because it's going to have us to stitch in that in that um, type of numerical order, okay? So we're gonna get started with pieces one and two. Let's do that now. Okay, so our next step is we are going to notch and mark all of our pieces just, as, just the same way as if you are going to actually make it from the fashion fabric. 
So I got my notches, notchers here. You can find these on my Amazon um, store, which will be in the bio. The link will be in the bio. And wherever the notches are, I'm going to go ahead and notch. And wherever my markings are, I will go ahead and mark my fabric. So hopefully you are doing the same. If you don't have notches, just use your scissors to make your notches with. Let's do that. Okay, now we're at step four. And it says, ease shoulder edges of a yoke, piece number three, between the notches, um, stay stitched the next edge. So what we're gonna do in, in this instance is we're going to lengthen our stitch length to four or five and then where you see the notches right here you're going to put a stitch between those notches then the next you're going to turn your stitch length back to 2.5 and you're going to stitch around the next edge so let's do that okay we're getting somewhere so now we're at step number five and what you're going to do is pin your yoke on uh, piece number three to the um, upper to the edge upper edge of pieces two one and two and you're going to stitch and then you're going to press up towards the yoke so here's what that looks like okay i have my piece uh, two in the middle ones are on the end i've pinned my number three to those pieces where it looks like this okay now I am going to stitch straight across at five eighths of a seam allowance. Then I'm going to press it up towards this yoke. I'm going to press it upwards. We are at step number six and it's really easy. All you're going to do is top stitch the lower edge of the yoke. So <clears throat> that is right here where you see my finger. Again, we're going to do just uh, a quarter inch of a straight line on the fashion side of the fabric. You're just going to go straight across. We're not taking any curves right now. So all you have to focus on is doing a straight stitch. And all we're really doing is stitching down the, the seam allowance that we did. Okay. And that this is what you should have. Okay, we're on step number seven. And all we're going to do is stitch the side front number four section to the back side. This is what it looks like on the diagram. We're not stitching the shoulders together yet, just at the sides. So this is piece number four and we're stitching down the sides. Let's do it. Okay, I'm at step eight. Right here, stitch the back peplum number five section together at the center back. The way that you know the center back is there are three notches on the center back. Put those pieces together and stitch them at five eighths and then press those seams open, flat. And uh, at piece number four, where you done piece number four, go ahead and press those, uh, that seam flat as well if you have it. Okay, right here, we're gonna take two steps. We're gonna do nine and 10. So first, you're gonna stitch the front peplum, uh, which is number six, to the back of the peplum. Number five, you're gonna match up the two notches on each side of the pieces and you're going to stitch them down five eighths then you're going to come right here and you're going to stay stitch the top edge so you're going to do a quarter inch or half an inch around here half an inch okay in that curve let's do that let's talk about a stay stitch why is it important to do a stay stitch on your garment because when you're going around curves on the garment 
is going to help that curve, keep that curve from stretching out of place. Uh, so, um, and stabilize it. So that's why you do a stay stitch wherever your pattern calls for it or wherever you have a curve uh, on your garment. So I hope you find this particular piece of information helpful and so that when you are stitching your garments, you are taking all the steps so that you will have a stable, strong, long sustained garment. I'll see you in the next one. Let's talk about a stay stitch. Why is it important to do a stay stitch on your garment? Because when you're going around curves on the garment, it's going to help that curve, keep that curve from stretching out of place. Uh, so, um, and stabilize it. So that's why you do a stay stitch wherever your pattern calls for it or wherever you have a curve uh, on your garment. So I hope you find this particular piece of information helpful and so that when you are stitching your garments, you are taking all the steps so that you will have a stable, strong, long sustaining garment. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, how you doing? We are getting somewhere. I promise we are getting somewhere, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach that peplum that we did. You should have pressed the seams open, flat. You should have stayed stitched around the curve by half an inch. And now we're going to attach that peplum to the bodice area, to the back and side bodice, right? So we're going to attach that at 5 eighths inch of a seam allowance. And then we're going to press it up towards the bodice, okay? Press it up, okay? And then turn the garment over and make sure the, the seam line is nice and flat. And I think we're going to go ahead with the next step as well, which is we're going to do what we've been doing all along. We're going to top stitch that area. And I've already told you how to top stitch it. So let's go ahead and get it done. Come on. Okay, you remember when I talked about the stay stitching and you should do it at a half an inch? If you've done it at a half an inch, about an eighth of an inch away when you do your permanent stitch to stitch things together, there should be one eighth of an inch between the two stitches with the five eighths being on the bottom and the... Um, the stay stitch being on the top of the fabric like such so you should be able to see it up here and not stitch together i hope you find this helpful okay you remember when i talked about the stay stitching and you should do it at a half an inch if you've done it at a half an inch about an eighth of an inch away when you do your permanent stitch to stitch things together, 
there should be one eighth of an inch between the two stitches with the five eighths being on the bottom and the um the stay stitch being on the top of the fabric like such so you should be able to see it up here and not stitch together i hope you find this helpful now you should have attached your peplum together and now we're going to take our notchers and around through the curve we're going to notch out a little bit so that the um so it'll relax the curve so the curves can relax and they don't bunch up so you could do this with notchers if you have notchers if you don't have notchers, just go ahead and do it with your shears, being sure not to clip through your stitches. And then do the other steps. We are now at step number 13, where we're gonna reinforce in the corner um, on each of this um, piece. And what you're gonna do is you're going to so right here, stop at the dot, pivot, and go over one inch. So you should have marked a dot on your fabric right here. Right here. You should have four of these, but because we're only doing a mock-up, we're only doing two. So let's go ahead and get this done. So two things. We're going to sew this at a half an inch. We're going to sew one inch down. Stop at the dot, pivot by lifting your presser foot up, turning your fabric, and stitch a half an inch, or an inch, excuse me, in the other direction, stitching at a half an inch. Then what you're going to do is you are going to take your shears or your notchers, whichever one um, suits you best, and you are going to go ahead and you're going to clip to the thread, not through it, though. Okay? So if you're using shears, don't clip through the thread. Just clip to it. So make sure you do that. And that's how it should look once done. We're at step 14. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and put the... Uh, piece number seven on to piece number four in a peplum. So you're going to attach this by pins first. Then you're going to stitch down five eighths of a seam allowance. Then you're going to press towards the front. Okay, you're going to press the seams towards the front. And then you are going to top stitch that. Let's go ahead and do that to both sides. Okay, so we're going to skip over to 21, which is the under collar in a sleeve. Because, again, we're doing a mock-up, so we don't need all the stuff in between right now. Uh, that's for when we do the final. So what we're going to do is you're going to get piece number eight. You see those three notches right there? You're going to stitch at five eighths, stitching those two pieces together. Then we're going to go down here and we're going to connect this collar to the jacket. So let's get to it. Okay, so here we are with our collar. <clears throat> we're at 5 eighths of a seam allowance. Put our foot down and stitch, push, bringing it back just once. And same here. Now, the reason why I personally put the top, the first pin, this direction, because I don't want the, I don't want the fabric to move. So I put one pin straight up and down, then the rest of them to the side. All right, so let's go ahead and press this open and do the next step. Okay, I skipped past the part, but we're going right back to it. So the shoulders, you got to stitch them together. 
So what you're going to do is you're going to take your notches and you're going to line them up, up at the shoulder area. <clears throat> up at the shoulders. You're going to line those, those notches should line right up with each other. Just like such. And you're going to pin <coughs> at the notch. Then there's, you should have made an E-stitch on one side. And the E-stitch is for you to gather it in a little bit so that the sleeve, the shoulders will fit correctly. There's the notch right there. You're going to put that together and pin. Then you're going to pin the other, the middle section of the sleeve. And you're going to stitch five eighths across the shoulder area. Okay, we're really getting to the finish line at this point. So I'm going to let you do the last few steps, uh, which is the sleeve. So you are going to put two E stitches up above the, on the sleeve cap, one between the notch or dots on the side of number nine. Then you're going to attach nine to ten. Then you're going to start the process of attaching it to the bodice. But by now, you should have uh, tried on your jacket without the sleeves to make sure the bodice fits. Make sure the jacket body fits. Really, that's all you need. If all of if that part fits, then you're ready to rock and roll and do it on your fashion fabric. If not, then you need to go make the necessary adjustments. And then once you're comfortable with, once you're finished with your fit and you like the way that it fits and everything, then you can go ahead and do your, um, your fashion fabric of your choice. So um, I'm going to let you guys go ahead and finish these little few areas right here and tag me to let me see your mock-up or your finished jacket i want to see it okay till next time i'm sony godly of sgc couture fashions i hope you found this helpful if you have like comment subscribe or follow see you in the next one bye